Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about logical equivalence without using truth table in discrete mathematics and graph theory. The example problem is prove that for any two propositions P, Q, negation of P by conditional Q is logically equivalent to P or Q and negation P or negation Q without using truth table. This symbol is called as logical equivalence symbol. Before that logical equivalence symbol, whatever the formula is there, that is the first compound statement. After the logical equivalence symbol, whatever the formula is there, this is another compound statement. We have to show that this compound statement is logically equivalent to this compound statement. We have to take the LHS part, then we have to show the RHS part. We have to take the RHS part, then we have to show the LHS part then we can say that this formula is logically equivalent to this formula. This is the procedure we have to follow to solve this problem. Let us consider LHS part. What is LHS part? This is negation of P by conditional Q. We already know that P by conditional Q formula. What is the formula here? P by conditional Q is logically equivalent to P conditional Q and Q conditional P. So this is the formula we have to use in the place of P by conditional Q. Now, negation as it is. Now, we have to substitute P conditional Q and Q conditional P in the place of P by conditional Q. P conditional Q and Q conditional P. Next step. We already know that P conditional Q is logically equivalent to negation P or Q. In the same way, Q conditional P is logically equivalent to negation Q or P. So, we have to substitute negation P or Q in the place of P conditional Q. We have to substitute negation Q or P in the place of Q conditional P according to these two logical equivalence formulas. So, negation P or Q and negation Q or P. Next one. So, negation. So, I am multiplying negation P with negation Q using AND symbol. So, negation P AND negation Q or negation P AND P Or next one Q and negation Q, Q and negation Q, or Q and P, Q and P. Okay, so negation P is multiplied with negation Q using and negation P and negation Q, or negation. P and P or Q and negation Q or 
Q and P. Okay. Next one. Patient can be sent to inner side of the compound statement. Negation of negation P is nothing but P. Negation of and is nothing but R. Negation of negation Q is nothing but Q. Negation of R is nothing but and. Next. Negation of negation P is nothing but P. Negation of and is nothing but R. Negation of P is nothing but negation P. Next. Negation of R is nothing but and. Next. Negation of Q is nothing but negation Q. Negation of and is nothing but R. Negation of negation Q is nothing but Q. Next. Negation of R is nothing but and. Negation of Q is nothing but negation Q. Negation of and is nothing but R. Negation of P is nothing but negation P. So this is after applying the negation to each and every compound statement within the parenthesis we are getting this one. Next one. We already know that P or negation P value is true. Negation Q or Q is true. I am writing here. P or negation P is logically equivalent to true. Next. Q or negation Q is logically equivalent to true. So now P or Q and this value becomes true. True. And this value becomes true. And next one. According to commutative law, I am writing this one. Negation P or negation Q. Here I am applying commutative law also. Okay, next one. So by observing these two, in the place of P or Q, we are substituting true value. True and true is nothing but true. In the place of P or Q, we are substituting false value. False and true is nothing but false. Whatever the true value we are substituting here, the same result we are getting. So that P or Q under true is nothing but here I am writing P or Q and true is nothing but P or Q. Next, by observing these two true and Negation P or negation Q is logically equivalent to in the place of negation P or negation Q, we are substituting true value. True and true is nothing but true. In the place of negation P or negation Q, we are substituting false value. True and false is nothing but false. Whatever the true value we are substituting, the same truth value we are getting. So that this is negation P or negation Q. So that the above step becomes P or Q and negation P or negation Q. So this is nothing but P or Q. This is nothing but negation P or negation Q. So this is the RHS. This is the RHS. This is RHS. So I am taking the LHS. We are proving the RHS. Okay. Next. Next I am taking. Let us consider RHS. 
P is multiplied with negation P by using AND connective. So then we are getting P and negation P. P and negation P. Or P is multiplied with negation Q using AND connective. So P and negation Q. Or next Q is multiplied with negation P using AND connective. So Q and negation P. Or Q is multiplied with negation Q. We are getting Q and negation Q. Okay. P is multiplied with negation P. We are getting P and negation P. P is multiplied with negation Q. We are getting P and negation Q. Q is multiplied with negation P. We are getting Q and negation P. Q is multiplied with negation Q. We are getting Q and negation Q. We already know that P and negation P value is true. Uh, sorry, P and negation P value is nothing but false. So false or P and negation Q or according to commutative law, I am writing Q and negation P as negation P and Q or Q and negation Q value is false. Okay. So, P and negation P is logically equivalent to false. Q, Q and negation Q is logically equivalent to false. So, from this to, from this to, in the place of P and negation Q, we are substituting true value. False or true is nothing but true. In the place of P and negation Q, we are substituting false value. False or false is nothing but false. That means whatever the truth value we are substituting here, the same truth value can be obtained as a result. So that false or P and negation Q is nothing but P and negation Q. Or next one. In the place of negation P and Q, we are substituting true value. True or false is nothing but true. In the place of negation P and Q, we are substituting false value. We are getting false or false is nothing but false value. Whatever the truth value we are substituting here, the same truth value can be obtained as a result. So that this becomes negation P and Q. Okay. So... By simplifying, uh, by simplifying the uh, LHS part, so we are getting this result. You have to verify it, no problem. Negation P by conditional Q. So it is logically equivalent to LHS. Okay. So we are taking the RHS part, we are getting the LHS part. We are taking the LHS part, we are getting the RHS part. Okay. So here I am writing this one, negation of P by conditional Q. So it is logically equivalent to negation of P conditional Q and Q conditional P. So it is logically equivalent to negation of P conditional Q means negation P or Q and Q conditional P is negation Q or P. So, by sending the negation to inner side, we are getting negation of negation P is P, negation of R is nothing but and, negation of Q is nothing but negation Q, negation of and is nothing but R, negation of negation Q is nothing but Q, negation of R is nothing but and, negation of P is nothing but negation P. So, this is the I am taking, so this entire thing is equivalent to, so this one. So that I am writing this entire thing can be taken as this one. In this way, we are getting the LHS part. Okay. So we are taking the LHS part. I am getting the RHS part. I am taking the RHS part. We are getting the LHS part. So that we can say that 
this compound statement is logically equivalent to this compound statement. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. I am putting the entire playlist of this course in the comment box. Please uh, check this link and get the full videos of this course. If you understanding this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Divdela Srinivasarao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.